Thank you for joining our talk. Welcome. This is my colleague Miriam. My name is Stefan. Um, it's the first time that EUX is present at the InterGeo, and we thought we would like to introduce ourselves to the InterGeo community. So um, I invite you to meet EUX and view the world through our eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, so, first of all, I have a question to all of you. Who has ever manually downloaded a satellite image um, to your local computer? Please raise your hand. Okay, that's almost everyone. Um, so, I can relate to that. Um, a couple of years ago, when I was at university, we had to do the same task. There was some scripting involved, but still it was a painful experience to process satellite imagery on our local computers. There are several challenges involved with satellite imagery. Next slide, please. Uh, one, one challenge is, of course, that satellite imagery is big data. We get many observations every day. Data is coming in, and it is impractical to process data on local machines. The second challenge is that there are so many different sensors involved um, and we need complex data pipelines to combine the data from the variety of sensors into useful um, information. And third, most of the, the Earth's landmass is continuously covered by cloud cover so we need smart algorithms to filter out the clouds and provide cloudless products for analysis-ready data. Next. Yeah, thank you. So um, we um, have a data management platform called EOX Hub, which is a cloud-based um, system that bridges the gap between the satellite data and the applications that our customers have. And it um, involves easy access to satellite information, um, running of applications in the cloud, then um, large scale, scale processing, um, possibly about uh, across the whole Earth, if you want it so. We can scale up your algorithms in the cloud using EOX Hub. We also support transparent billing of data products. Um, all of this can be used to um, make allow or um, make it easier to decision makers to use satellite information. In general, we build our technology upon four pillars. One I already mentioned the cloud-based system called EOX Hub. Um, the second pillar is our cataloging server called View Server, which allows for data management, cataloging, and serving of um, large vol volumes of satellite data. Third, um, we have data visualization dashboards that are web-based that can be accessed via a browser. Um, most importantly, EODash for um, Earth observation dashboards and the Agri app for ag agricultural use cases. And fourth, last but not least, we also um, process our own data products called EOX Cloudless. And Miriam will take you, um, tell you more about EOX Cloudless in a few moments. First of all, I would like to give you a case study of our Agri app, which is used in the area monitoring system. The area monitoring system is a system that um, government agencies in the European Union use to pay subsidies to the farmers in a fair way. We developed the area monitoring system um, within a, an ESA co-funded project and um, after two years it became a production service that helps the government agencies in Austria and Ireland to fulfill their tasks in paying out the EU, EU subsidies. And since 2023, we are providing these services 
um, under SLA-based contracts with service level agreements that guarantee the continuous usage of the, of the Agri app to our customers. Another case study would be GTIF, which stands for Green Transition Information Factory. It's an ESA program, and the centerpiece of the GTIF is our EOX-developed EO Dash, which you can also see at the center of this slide. The EO Dash combines the results of satellite algorithms into a convenient dashboard. We can combine uh, information and results from several research institutions and other service providers. Um, EOX was already part in the first phase of the uh, GTIF program. Uh, with a demonstrator in Austria. And now in the second phase, which is called GTIF Kickstarters, the concept is spreading across whole Europe. And there are several projects that involve uh, EOX where we provide the EO Dash ecosystem to integrate these various insights from satellite information. Now I will hand over to my colleague Miriam, who will tell you more about EOX Cloudless. Thank you so much, Stefan. And as introduced, I'm Miriam Mabea. So I'm going to take you through the EOX Cloudless product. So um, as EOX, we continue simplifying uh, the use of satellite data. I can also relate to, my, uh, to his experience of using difficult data in the past years. So Cloudless, as the name suggests, we've made the data simpler, Cloudless to use, and we have these products, uh, the viewing products. We have the Sentinel-2 Cloudless single file, which uh, is available as a geo package or map cache SQLite. We have also the, another viewing product, which is available as a GeoTIFF, and both of these products are color corrected and sharpened and they are in the, they have they contain the rgb band still on the cloudless we have the data products and under data products we have these two the sentinel 2 cloudless 8 bits which is uh, used for basic analysis we also have the sentinel 2 cloudless 16 bits for uh, that that is the full 16 bits data range that is used for advanced analysis. Both of these are available as GeoTIFFs, and they contain the RGB band plus the near-infrared band. So they have four bands. So if you have a use case for uh, imagery with reflectance value, here is your solution. We also process custom requests. As you can see, here is an imagery uh, of an airport with very high resolution that has been overlaid with our uh, global maps. So if you have a custom request, we do custom pro, uh, processes, please place your order with us. These are some of our happy customers. Uh, we have Fraport, who used uh, the EOX Cloudless product to create the high resolution globe projection for the biggest attraction at the Fraport Visitor Center. Also, Tages PGL, they, are, they were able to use our products, the EOX Cloudless. They were able to significantly improve their research with uh, our data to, for the visual scrolling of the oil well at the National Park. Also, Plain Finder uh, found our, that our data useful and they are using our global maps as their background map in the Plane Finder app. Titanium also, they were happy that we supported them in processing their needs and also in the preparation of the various data sets in their simulation platform. Please visit our site to get more information. We are expanding into these three sectors, agriculture, aviation, and the European Green Deal. For agriculture, uh, we have the Agri app, which my colleague has already mentioned about. It is a, a flexible dashboard service 
for remote sensing analysis for agricultural parcels or for area for monitoring of the area of interest. So we are developing similar apps and expanding to be able to grow and develop more apps in this sector. Also for aviation, we are currently working with our partner Planet Labs to develop jet maps, which is a solution that we are soon releasing to the industry. Jet maps contains high resolution satellite imagery uh, within the airports. And I can proudly say that jet maps is working because one of the largest airport airline in the world is using it to manage their airports and improve their customer experience since they have 192 international destinations and they are working across 72 countries. So it's a very large airport and they are using jet maps to, uh, to make things happen. So uh, very soon we'll be releasing jet maps into the industry, the aviation industry. Please be on the lookout. Uh, under the Green Deal, I'm sure most of us, if not all, have already heard about the Green Deal, which is the ambition by the European Union to be climate neutral by 2050. So as EOX, we are currently developing apps that uh, will help achieve the proposals and policies that are, are already in place under this deal. And uh, for instance, the GTIF, which my colleague has already talked about, we are currently working with ESA on it. GTIF has tools that users can uh, explore and be able to discover opportunities that can help them transition into uh, climate neutrality by 2050. Sorry. So um, we have, what is our vision as EOX? We as EOX, for us, space matters because we are specialists in earth observation and IT, and therefore we leverage that for the benefit of the society, the economy, and the environment. And how do we do that? So we have, under the society, we support the CSR projects, that's the Corporate Social Responsibility, projects. Uh, we have our free-to-use maps, we have, which we support organizations that approach us to use our maps for free, non-commercially, especially in the research and education sector. Visit our site to learn more about that. We also have support open standards and software, whereby we, we are an OGC member. We are also an active OSGO member and sponsor and we collaborate actively on force projects. We also support open data by providing the global maps. Under economy, we support economic growth through the activities that we do, especially in Austria, where we are best. We are a non-startup founder-managed business and therefore support uh, economic growth. In the environment, we also support the Zero Carbon Initiative as we are a 100% remote fast company. Okay. Well, sorry. So uh, please get in touch with us through the eox.at eox at eox.at or cloudless at eox.at. Visit our website, uh, the Cloudless website. You can download uh, free samples and documentation for the imagery. You can also uh, buy our products directly from the website by clicking the Buy Now button, and you'll be able to follow the procedure. Thank you so much for your attention, and uh, we are free to take questions. <laughs>